let there be light and there was light okay that's our little ritual this is where we are being transparent and of course I'm sharing with you because we're about to break the law of silence. Of course, we need light to see what has been hidden in plain sight. We are not only just seeing what's in plain sight, we are digging deep. So, thank you for being here. Thank you all viewers, subscribers. Thank you for liking, sharing, and you know, just growing together. I am Crimey Queen, your partner in crime. I hope you appoint me as your partner in crime, meaning that you need to subscribe to my channel. Of course, like and subscribe and do all the things that makes us US United Souls. Said that. Having said that, it's time for a tea break. <laughs> So while we are doing that, we are breaking the law of silence and whatever else happens. But let's invite the 14 gods that we are the embodiment of. As we say, let there be light. And there was light in what we are saying, doing, thinking, speaking, being. So it is. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And hit the notification bell so you would be, of course, one of the first to, um, of course, delve in this Hello, wonderful tea time. Hello, really pay attention to what you are putting in your mouth because that is the number five. That is the um the uterus. That is the Christ. That is the um anchor, the pyramid, the home, the key. And there we are, okay, on this wonderful journey. We are going to explore or further explore the five gods who are helping us do our masters. Why our masters? These are like the five gods. It's almost like they teach us, they teach us what we need to learn, how we need to um you know um behave what words we need to speak they're with us they're actually our guides they're the christ spirit within us they represent the kundalini arising they represent your home your home encompasses everything that you are in this realm in this sense so you could go to someone's home you know um if you see certain books you know their interests what foods in the cupboard their fridges and so on and you can tell a great deal about someone by you know observing what is in their home whether it's in the bedroom the kitchens whatever it is but this is the place of reference this is the place of anchor when you anchor on something of someone or a situation that represents you that is called like also self. being blissful in that spirit break. of whatever you are being okay. in that moment so in that this is what we are doing in these times, which is necessary for our evolution, for our transformation. Hence, the, the in the scriptures, you had um, the five sacrifices, burnt offering, sin offering, peace offering, um, covenant, whatever other offerings. But there was always a B one. We always come across that B, the you know the burning so here we are doing the breaking like jesus was breaking the bread oh i didn't even get that before this is what we are doing so when you break something of course there is a sort of sound with it even if it's well depending on how the bread is like there's a bread a um, mediterranean breadstick of course when you break it you can actually hear you know like it crack it's called peximet or something like that which um you know very crispy so whether it's crispy not or whatever it is we are breaking the law of silence that's what we are doing here and having a great time okay so if you're new to this channel everything that we do seem to rest upon or anchor on this as though it were our house of prayer sacrifice whatever it is but this is like the tree of life you could say this has taught us a lot 
when I started and I thought, well, it was sacrifice. I'm, you know, tired of, you know, someone thinking I have to feel sorry that someone died on the cross of my sins and blah, you know, and I could not fathom the essence of it altogether. Even the times when I used to go to church and I would wallow, you know, in praise and worship and so on, but there was still something that I had not understood. Of course, my yearning, just my mere yearning, helped me to find that understanding. And through numerology and synchronicity, spirituality, I think things have become so much clearer. This is what it is said through the story of Paul that, you know, he said and he wrote many letters. As I say, I'm going to check how many letters. Don't know how I'm going to do this. But he wrote letters to the other disciples and saying, Brethren, we need to die with with Christ. And, you know, it's like dying with Christ is like dying of your the lower chakra. And, of course, igniting the crystal, the you know, the serum, the sexual serum, which rises up to the pineal gland. Okay, so basically, um, that's what it's about. Learning and how to ignite or activate the um, kundalini um, or the sexual um, chakra or you could also say um, activating you know your third eye however you want to look at it or the chakras whatever it is there are many routes to the mountain if you find another one well done but this was the one that really did it for me this was the one that led me on to making a commitment of 40 days of um, prayer and fast. The fasting, in fact, because I had not been participating in the sexual activities for a while, I considered that fasting. So, But what I did was that I went on a fruit and veg um, diet. And so, um, with that diet, it's that I was paying attention to what I was putting in my mouth. And that is what I want to speak on this evening or today in this presentation as we are having this wonderful tea break. So, you can really pay attention to what you are putting in your mouth because that is the number five. That is the... Um, the uterus that is the Christ that is the um, anchor the pyramid the home the key and it serves a lot because we take it for granted of course going back to the, the root of the story of why we are still searching for trying to find out where we are who we are what we are doing and so on was all about a fruit being put in the mouth and eating it was all about some would say oh it was about the disobedience not really the act but the act of course confirms the disobedience if you want to look at it that way although it was all orchestrated that way people because that was one way of mankind understanding who they are. It's like you have to come out of your house or know that you are out or have that reference points to understand who or where you are. And so you can say, you are here or I am here or make that reference. Uh, so we are going to speak a little bit on um, really emphasizing the importance of understanding the significance of the mouth and the uterus and what they really represent and how they relate to the five gods that really are helping us complete our masters. Are you with me on this? Say yes. <laughs> okay, so in case you are new to this channel, what we have found out is the 14 gods, the 14 verbatim gods in the Bible. These are the 14 verbatim gods in the Bible. We have understood from this template and all this is biblically um, stated, if you like. And of course, with the insight of the gods, I have been able to see that adding the first nine gods, which is the number of cycles of man, you could say, that comes to 40 in their values. 40 is the um, symbol or that denotes the foundation 
of creation. So for instance, when I wanted to actually know who I am or whatever it is, I had not quite understood that I am what a Kundalini is or what it exactly it is to have your third eye open. I just had a thrust for change, for wisdom and for wanting something um, different, for understanding the patterns that was happening in my life. For, of course, um, breaking some of those patterns that I knew were not serving me because I could see myself going around repeating the same patterns. And so I had not understood the um, 14 gods as we do now, but what I did gather from all the um, intuition, you could say, and the scriptures that I had encountered or teachings going for church, that 40 was very symbolic and very significant because I got to understand that there were 40 days of fasting and praying with Jesus, 40 days and 40 nights with Noah and Moses and so on. And great things were happening in those um stories so why not me and this was the thing why not me i'm saying why not you you can take a simple exercise do an experiment call it an experiment if you like a simple exercise and say okay for the next 40 days i'm gonna just say let there be light in a, in wherever area of my life it's needed or just let there be light. I do this when I'm opening my curtains every morning. Let there be light. And that's it. Yo, you could have just one single thing or one single word. Just say light. Just say love. Just say truth. Whatever it is. And do that for 40 days. But I can assure you by the 13th day, you will begin to see some transformation or changes happening. They may not feel very nice, but that is the God's actually taking things like house cleaning and shifting things around oh let there be light let there be light people let there be light okay so i hope you get this and this is what i want to encourage you that the five gods we are talking about are going to help you do this but as I say, in case you are new to this channel, I just wanted to brief you on this. You can also look at or watch the videos that I put as an introduction to uh, introduction. I was going to say introduction to psychology, taking me way back. Why is the university calling me back? <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so we can look at those, but these five gods, without straying too much, we see that there is 40 here. We see even if there are, um, you could call it inconsistencies in these, in these words here, but they still come up to number 40, still 40. So in both areas, that tells us that there's a, a set of order, there is an order to creation. And this is what um, the gods are reminding me. When I was writing The Crimson Light, I had not understood this, but they kept saying, you know, you've got, you're have you going to learn, you know, system of orders. That's how they put it, system of orders. And I was thinking, I'm going through all this now. You're telling me about system of orders. Okay. And so here we also have the correlation with the second set of gods in the second chapter of Genesis of chapter 1. There we have where God ended. Ended was actually saying was a new start. Where there is an end, there is a beginning. And here, we so we have ended, formed, caused, breathed, and planted. And these are the five gods we are going to talk about here in this on this channel as we see that the five gods in the number of letters which is like a letter in a letter or one letter number now before i keep i use jesus and christ a lot because i come from a christian background and i feel that there are a lot of people who perhaps face the same kind of answers or questions that I was um, faced with and wanting to understand 
the scriptures of Jesus in a way that makes sense or like it does with me and so I still use this but I want to emphasize this is more on a numerical vibration this is more on a numerical um, frequency that I am using here not a figure of a person as such or uh, even if that was the case but I'm not spe I'm specifying that mode or only that mode so here we have the 32 letters which of course in numerical value is 38 and 3 plus 8 is 11. So this is how we know that and that Jesus was doing his masters here where he ended and he formed and he caused and grieved and planted. So these are you could say the five, um, the big five, <laughs> like the big five religion. Okay. Um, so we um, just to say how significant the number five is i made a reference to paul um, in one of the recent videos paul who was named saul of course what i saw um, he was claimed to be um, persecuting christians but he of course of a convict to convert but he became um, paul which also equals five which just as christ is um, five as well. So we see the number five people is not just only in the mere five senses. I think what it is why we have the five senses and this is what again the one of the gods the made god and the moved god so we have three gods with the number five three fives fifty and almost like five ten and my five circles here or my five senses so this is what we are getting here for now of course there is so much more to that but what we are saying to to get um, the essence of understanding the importance of how you can use the gods to help you um, gain your masters your masters is about finding out in case you didn't know that you were even on your masters but it's about finding yourself finding your place in the universe finding who you are know thyself which equals five so let that be your anchor let that be your anchor to know thyself meaning know what you are meant to be doing thinking speaking and so on so let us begin with the word ended where there is an end know that you have to prepare for a beginning it almost is like you put something in your mouth that means there is an end of that action where um, you have you close your mouth the door is shut and then there is another activity taking place in your mouth or it's almost like I speak a word it's out and so I keep quiet that means there is an ending here a beginning of a sentence an end of a sentence a beginning of a of a project an end whatever we have those things just to help us map out our journey just to help us have some point of reference for where we are and where we are going how we are doing and so on it's just like being in school and someone you know you have your teacher and they mark your papers yeah and so on but often and i wish people told us this before and then that perhaps would have made you know learning in school much joyous you know or more joyful is that this is for you to know where you are, not for someone to tell you you're doing good, bad or whatever, but now you have the choice to choose your mode of interest and to see how well you are doing. So for instance, if you wanted to be a nurse and you, you wanted to care for people, then just say, okay, I want to care for people. In what area of care do I want to go? Whatever it is. Okay, so I know I need to do this or I already have got, you know, certain gifts or empathy. I don't have to learn how to empathize. So you know where you are and what you need. That way you are maximizing or making the most value of the time and resources that you have. That's what the gods are here to help you. So the ended God is like, as I say, is like number five. Now this is what I want to show. 
as we said we have we have got the five gods that equal let's just oh i really want to keep this as a reminder let there be light people and there was light we are now ready to break the law of silence break the law of silence so we can understand even with our mouths the words we speak for people who are hurting who are with ailments who have been a lot of um times um, particularly people who have been sexually abused or um, carrying shame it's when they actually speak to someone bring this thing out that they begin to feel better about themselves because there's a sort of balance happening we need the polarities in this case so let's look at the mouth uh, I'm going to do a mouth <laughs> now okay this is my this is this is my mouth <laughs> okay let's just call this we'll just call this a mouth in case you don't recognize what it is here and so we are going to say in a mouth is also the tongue t-o-n-g-u-e and there's also teeth t-e-e-t-h If we think about it, there may be like, I, which I had worked it out before, there are like many, maybe like 30, 40 things we could do with our mouth. And so this is why we begin with the number five as the five gods, knowing about our five senses, knowing the significance of five, we could begin to say, that this is something, an area that the gods really are wanting us to pay attention to. Of course, we taste with our tongue, speak, you know, um, do so much. Everything, when we sing, we yawn, we eat, we um, blow, we um, belch, we do um, all, you know, um, so many things that we do bite air all all of those things and um i it'd be nice if i had the list of find the list of things that i already have collated that we can do with all mouths in fact you can just think of something and put it down and maybe i hadn't thought about it before but all of those things the tongue actually equals 10 and the mouth actually equals five five so we can see basically that and teeth which is 22 which is 25528 five, this is 1022 which is of five letters as well and the tongue here we have six letters but that equals which is 537 so that's 15 and 520 and 26 27 28 so this is six so it's 28 is 10, two eights. Okay, that equals 10. The so let's break down the numerical value of 10 as 1 equals 7 and not equals 4. So we see we have the master number here, which is where the mouth or the tongue is saying that, you know, it is our master or we need to master the art of using our tongue. And it's similar for the teeth which equals 22, 2, 2 is actually 4, 4, and that equals 8. So here we see the significance of the word E. Adding the numerical value of tongue and teeth together still gives us 10. As we can see, this is the master key for sowing seeds. A reminder that our words have potential for growth, so be mindful of the words we speak. And mouth, of course, we have seen is five, which is 10, 23, 23. So 23, when we say, or oh, we've mentioned about mouth, about life equals 23, for instance, and we see that 
the mouth is such is so powerful here we also know about the tongue is the double-edged sword meaning that it would say whatever command it gets it's just like you know flow as water it doesn't it has no discrepancy it will just go as it is commanded to do and by this very act we can see the result of creation how powerful it is the mouth of course entailing tongue and teeth but the mouth of course is what encapsulates of course all what constitute the tongue and teeth meaning adding this together of course would be 10 is 32 right here 32 this is indicating in this presentation that that is the letter that Jesus actually um, overcame or had or gained you could say as his masters because when Christ C-H-R-I-S-T which equals six letters and um, is 32 so six letters is indicating for instance the number of man or Genesis Genesis equals um, 33 or Christ used to also speak about the word believe which equals 33 or people 33 or person 33 or project 33 and all of those things are 33 so we could say this is what has happened here as we can see the maps that basically the mouth is a good example of somewhere for us to start basically learning how to control what we say what we say what we speak yawning is perhaps the most addictive thing that i know when it comes to the mouth of course apart from eating foods that we really like i don't know but speak you could actually bite you can breathe you need your mouth as well as your nose breathe you can break bite we could say break break something with your teeth where we break our teeth sometimes, which is not nice. But of course, we blow, B-L-O-W. And of course, there is so much. I am trying to just keep this to remind you. The basic thing as well is the tongue that we really want to, to curtail. We really want to know how to, um, to handle this this is the perhaps the most powerful weapon because to say the wrong thing or you can hurt someone so bad with that sword you know some people have words that cut to the cut put it this way wars are created on words Wars are created through words. We listen to our politicians and the words they say is what we keep saying, not even so much what they do, but we say, oh, but you said this, we, you said that, you know, so we have a lot about, a lot to say about the mouth. And that is what I wanted to speak about, the uterus and the mouth. But it seemed like we could actually take this and put it to the uterus as well. Be mindful what you put in your mouth. You are what you eat. Likewise, like when we, um, in fact, I'm going to have to do a separate one on the uterus. So let's begin with this. Let's begin with the foods we eat. For instance, let's begin with the words we speak. How do you... The, uh, uh, wonderful interesting subjects for instance on YouTube that I really would like to listen to or engage in but sometimes people are swearing so much in the what they are saying and the way it has been embedded in me which it may not have meant to be that way already but you know it doesn't feel right so you know how the how about making our words more your hearing friendly okay so we are speaking and I think 
when we look at the words, for instance, that is perhaps one of the most important um, things for us to pay attention to because it's got that W in. It's the W. So, of course, your tongue, your, your teeth. We have number um, 32. And so, yes, 32 which we could do three which is two and of course we could do um uh, two which is four and so we see that would be six which would say that gives us completion of creation number six as i said believe people and so on i hope you have found this interesting that it would help you as the gods or the ended god for instance which is also coinciding with the made god but just let's say the ended god the ended god is the demarcation of where something begins and something ends or where you plant in and where you are going to reap. It's like having a seed in the ground and then you leave room to nurture and let things rise up. So I hope you have enjoyed this tea time and that we have broken the law of silence for you to now be on your journey with your new project, of course, which equals 43. And so we can now take our place in the university of life. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't and if you're new to numerology and you have a thrust for this numerology and spirituality, this is the channel where you can also watch the framework of how we derived from all this, which I'm going to put in the description box, as well as numerology and spirituality for beginners. So I hope you have enjoyed this. I hope you have found this fun. Do like and subscribe touch that notification bell not just touch it hit it how are you gonna hit it this way just okay hit it hit the notification bell so you will be one of the first when we have a tea break okay oh and of course stay ignited <laughs>